This is Mark and Charity's Coffee Podcast. Mark and Charity Coffee Podcast for Monday, April 25th. Be a rainy day here across the Quinty region today and into tomorrow. But then we're wrapping up April at the end of this week, and here comes May. Charity just off today. She'll be back in again tomorrow, but it was too big a day not to want to spend a little bit of time with uh, with you today after the morning show we had, which included Sam Brady on the show. Now, Sam was one of the organizers for the run for the court family on the weekend, 24 hours around the track of the Quinty Sports and Wellness Center, hoping to raise $100,000 for the devastating tragedy that befell them with the traffic accident in Florida. And, um, well, as Sam said on the show, as we get closer to the $100,000, Peter had shown up that night. But I I won't give it away. Sam was very gracious to pick up the phone this morning and share how close we are to getting to that target. Uh, Yeah, we've, it's actually, the total is about 85,000 and change. um, And uh, still continuing to grow. Folks are are still uh, um, putting uh, donations and sponsorships onto the website, so it's uh, it's great to see. Yeah, now before we talked, of course, it was all about planning the event and executing the event. In your eyes, how did it go? Well, it was the brainchild of uh, Mickey Delaney at uh, the Bulldog uh, Box- uh, Boxing Academy, and uh, I just reached out to, uh, to Mickey to say, can I help in any way? And uh, the two of us sort of ran with the idea, uh, pun intended, and uh, put together this 24-hour run, and uh, folks stepped up at the corporate level. Uh, we had some incredible corporate uh, donations and sponsorships, totaling uh, just under $60,000 of that total. And so uh, we, we have to thank our, our corporate community for being as generous as they continue to be. Uh, our our uh, Van Zolan Landscaping was the, the big uh, um, uh, title sponsor, the champ, as we call them, KGF Capital, Shoppers Drug Mart, Sydney and Dundas, Queenie Home Builders, Devanco Homes. They were just the, the, the backbone of, uh, of this uh, in terms of uh, their donations. So yeah. thank it. I have to thank them so, so much. Yeah, and I, and I shake my head because every time there's an event like this, the same names come up, right? They just, uh, great, great people. Your feet are sore, though. How long were you there? Uh, I was there for all but about three and a half hours. Wow. So call me for... Yeah, uh, 20, 20 hours in a bit. Oh. Uh, but our, our, our uh, I, I call her the Iron Woman, uh, uh, Laura Lee McElroy was there on track for over 16 hours. Wow. And she, she wasn't walking either. I, you know, I was walking a little bit, but she was running the whole time. And she was part of the uh, emergency response team. And that entire group committed to uh, staying on track uh, for the full 24 hours. And we could not. I've done it without them. Yeah, and she of the Butterfly Girls who raised an awful lot of money for the hospital. So this is yeah. this is nothing new to her at all. Sam Brady, once again, the organizer. To help us get to that $100,000 goal, you mentioned that uh, donations are coming in. What's the best way to do that? Uh, continue to visit uh, lovethecourts.ca, and that's L-U-V, the courts, K-O-R-T-S dot C-A. Okay, and... Uh, that uh, website will stay open. So again, on behalf of the community, thanks for all your efforts, you and Mickey and and uh, the family. How's how's Peter doing? What uh, were you able to to reach out to him over the weekend? Uh, Pete actually made a surprise visit uh, to the runners who were on track at wow. about midnight on uh, on Saturday, and uh, uh, we were all feeling tired and uh, you know uh, a little unmotivated, and then we all got a spring in our step when we saw Pete and. Uh, um, he and the family are back, and um, we're just glad that they're on their they're part of their healing journey, right? Yeah, exactly. And and this will go. Uh, you know, there's a long way to go, of course. But what a great backing from the community, Sam. Thanks again. We appreciate it, and hopefully the website gets flooded and we'll get well over a hundred thousand dollars. We appreciate it. And thanks for phoning in. Awesome. Thanks, Mark. Phenomenal community support. So once again, love the courts. L U V the courts K O R T S dot C A or you can link it off of inquity dot C A and make your donation uh, on there and try and help them get to uh, one hundred thousand dollars. So Sam and everybody uh, sponsors and walkers who took part on the weekend a tremendous show of support in the community and 
And thanks for all that you did uh, on that. Charity, once again, is going to be back in tomorrow. So before we say goodbye, uh, a couple of weeks ago, I had the uh, pleasure of having a quick Zoom chat with singer, songwriter, performer extraordinaire Tyler Shaw, who's working on an upcoming project. Yet to share that with you, sat down with him and talked about his latest TikTok venture. Good. Good to see you out here on the uh, the East Coast. The family's good. Alex and Everly are good. They are great. Thank you for asking. You know, when I when I heard about Love You Still and how it was sort of, you know, inspired through TikTok and seeing the uh, the great Instagram shots of you and Everly like in the daddy pouch, I couldn't help but think <laughs> that it was an alphabet-like song, how much she must have inspired you to be thinking in terms of that. Uh, how much of that <laughs> is where this song came from? Um, honestly, no, the, the, the origin story of this song came from, uh, an original song, um, that was written by Gail and a couple of her co-writers. So Gail's song is called ABCDEFU and it's a teen angst song that's basically like, screw you, screw <laughs> this, screw everything. Um, and, uh, I, when I, when I listened to this song, I was like, that would be really interesting to do a complete 180 contrast of, of what that song is about. So you know, I turned to my piano and I started playing the chords and immediately the first thing that came out of my mouth was, I love you still and you know I always will. So that turned into what it is like a full song now. But I, I remember that snippet, I just put it together on, on TikTok. Um, and then, you know, I think it was like four or five hours later, I went back on TikTok just to check in. And it was already in the hundreds of thousands of views. And I, I thought maybe I was, okay, this this maybe could be something let's just go to bed and we'll wake up and see what happens I woke up to, to millions of views and likes so um I've, i was blown away and uh created a full song and waited for a, a release day so um i can see why though you you would say that everly would inspire this but she's not <laughs> quite on her abcs yet um so this was totally inspired by by gail's original song yeah well, she'll probably like dad's version until she gets to be about 15. Then the Gale version will start to kick in. <laughs> oh, uh, boy. Yeah, I can't wait for that. Yeah. <laughs> so the plans for the song there. Here we are at the release date. Uh, what's the plan? A full project then? I mean, this is this was a complete one-off. Uh, it just happened so organically and so randomly. Um, but with that being said, I am working on uh, a full project of my own. Um, it'll be my fourth studio album, so uh, it's been a, it's been a journey, but this is this is going to be a big one for sure, especially with the success of Love You Still, uh, and it going wildly viral. Um, so I have some work cut out for me for sure. Is it important then? Do you think, uh, as an artist, if you have the opportunity, like a TikTok, to test music, to say, yes. hey, this is really going to work? It really gives you an indication of what's going to pop when it comes out, doesn't it? Yes, I think I think if you are an aspiring artist or if you're just an artist in general, TikTok is a is a incredible platform uh, to test music, to collaborate with different artists, to find new music, to get inspiration. It's a it's a amazing platform. So uh, the testing thing, though, that's that's interesting. Um, I have yet. I guess I guess Love You Still was a, a test. I just didn't know. I didn't have the full song. It was just a piece of content at the time. So it'll be interesting moving forward uh, when I have a project coming out um, or a, a song that's already written to, to test it that way and see what the difference would be in terms of just putting content out uh, versus promoting a, an up and coming song. The back end of that, too, is you really get a chance to connect with fans then and to see what your fans like. How much does that weigh into your music when you see what works? And now, not that what doesn't work, but what gets an immediate reaction? How important would that be in the way you begin to formulate your projects? I think that's super important. Um, however, that like by the time I put music out on, on TikTok, the songs would have already been written and the project would have been more or less finished and complete. So it'd be really shitty if I had a final project. I put a song out that I like on TikTok and everyone's like, no, don't like that. <laughs> <laughs> that'd be, uh, that would be, that'd be bad. So I hope, I hope, I hope um, that I can test the waters before I finish the project and uh, can kind of get a, a sense of what people are, are looking for. But I, I think I already have a good sense of what my fans really like and what, what they expect from me. So 
um i have a i have a good idea of where i want to go with this fourth album congrats too on your your christmas album this past holiday season doing Thank as well you. as we hoped because it did sure yeah. very well yes no i'm 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 very excited uh you know this the christmas album that i put out last holiday um it's just the start of a of a christmas uh a tyler shaw christmas let's call it so uh, i know i'll be adding more to that every year um with eventually maybe my full a full brand new christmas album uh to come so that's that's down the line though yeah and you talked about collaborating with other artists you and uh, josh ramsey of Mariana's trench are going to be heading on the road now i checked the lineup josh is going to be in belleville doesn't look like you're going to be here with him but uh what have you got planned for that tour coming up beginning in may out west this uh this show out west is going to be an acoustic show um you know just getting back out onto the road and, and re-meeting or meeting new fans is going to be super special and i want it to be pretty intimate so i'm literally just going out by myself um before josh goes on and i'll be playing all the hits that you know maybe a couple new ones uh just me and an acoustic guitar uh, i know i won't be in belleville unfortunately but uh, i will be uh in belleville not with josh but on my own uh, hopefully later on this year for for a tour of my own so fingers crossed on that um and uh, I don't know if uh, if this is public knowledge, but I'm going to say it anyway. Josh and I actually have a song coming out uh, on April 8th uh, together. Um, it's a it's part of his solo album, so that's something to look forward to. Uh, I think it's a fantastic song, and I'm super excited for it. Okay, that's great. You know, when he tours, he loves dogs. So is there going to be a harem of animals around? <laughs> I don't know. I guess we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> Tyler, we really appreciate it. Good luck with uh, with this single, of course, and with your upcoming project. Continued success with a career that's only going to get bigger and better. Good luck on the road this spring. Thank you so much. Always a great chat. Good guy. So watch for Tyler Shaw when he gets here to the Empire Theater. Again, not with Josh Ramsey coming up in a few weeks' time, but uh, hopefully he says on his own show in the near future. It's the Mark and Charity Coffee Podcast for Monday, April 25th out of Belleville, Ontario, Canada. Just subscribe wherever you get your favorite podcasts. It shows up daily by about 11 o'clock in the morning. Charity back in tomorrow morning. Enjoy your Monday and stay dry.